Have you ever wanted a team of Dwarven Automaton followers, or a squad of vampires? Well, thanks to mods you can do just that. Using the multiple follower system mod by UniSL, and some of the mods on this top 10 list, you can assemble your own team of superheroes in Skyrim. There are some awesome follower mods on PS4, including a few mods that seem impossible with the PS4 restrictions. If you want to see more showcases of the best mods for Skyrim, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the 10 best follower mods for Skyrim on PS4. First up at number 10 is Summonable Army of Explosive Chickens by GG77. The first rule of Skyrim is, never kill the chickens, unless you want an entire village to seek revenge against you. However, with this mod, the chickens are now the killers. This mod allows you to conjure kamikaze chickens that will follow you until you engage in combat when they will charge at your enemies and die in a fiery explosion. There are a couple of different ways to conjure your suicidal chicken followers. You can buy some chicken eggs from an alchemy store and take them to the forge, where you can craft incubated chicken eggs, which will then show up in the scroll section of your inventory, which you can then use to summon regular sized suicide chickens. You can conjure two giant explosive chickens with the two explosive chicken spell, which can be bought from Farangar Secret Fire in Dragon's Reach or any other court wizard. These giant chickens will follow you for an hour, but it's not likely that they will last for that long as they charge and explode at the feet of your enemies at every chance they get. This is a bit of a joke mod, but it's not completely unrealistic in that a mage could probably conjure up some explosive chickens if they tried hard enough. It's great fun to bombard your enemies with an army of explosive chickens. What an amazing way to die. Here lies Jimmy the Bandit, killed by an explosive suicide chicken. Next up at number 9 we have Frostbite, a magical fox follower plus silent foxes by Naya Thistletail. This mod adds a brand new fox follower with magical frost powers. The mod description says, Frostbite was once an ordinary snow fox until he became the subject of one of Nelikar's experiments. His soul was fused with that of a frost mage that worked for the wizard Nelof, which gave him sentience and minor magical powers. He misses exploring Skyrim, so he'll be happy to adventure with the Dragonborn. Frostbite is a speaking follower and can carry stuff for you. He's bigger than a normal fox and will attack his enemies with his Frostbite Fang attack. You can find him in the Frozen Hearth's cellar in Winterhold and he's marked as essential so he won't die. The mod also turns off the idle fox breathing sound so you won't hear the annoying sounds when you have him as a follower. And trust me, as someone who's used the Pets of Skyrim creation, constantly hearing the fox breathing sound effect is super annoying, so I love that the sound has been turned off for this mod. Frostbite is a cute little follower that genuinely packs a punch with his frostbite attacks. If you like the idea of a sweet little fox following you around in Skyrim that can actually help you out in combat, give this mod a download. Next in line is Dragon Queen and Dragon Lord followers by Imperial Agent 1992. You didn't really think that I could make a top 10 followers mod video without including Imperial Agent, did you? Imperial Agent has made hundreds of follower mods and two of the best are the Dragon Queen and Dragon Lord followers, which are actually two separate mods, but as they are so similar, I thought I would count them as one mod for the purpose of this list. The Dragon Queen can be found in the Four Shields Tavern in Dragonbridge, and the Dragon Lord can be found by the bridge. These two followers are extremely powerful warriors that will use shouts and dragon breath in combat, and they are kitted out with powerful dragon bone and dragon scale weapons and armor. The Dragon Lord will level up with you to level 300 and starts at level 40, and he uses Drain Vitality Shout maxed out at level 7, a unique Fire Breath Dragon Shout also maxed out at level 7, and he uses similar perks to the Ebony Warrior, but slightly better. The Dragon Queen is slightly weaker, so that she can be used with lower level players. However, she will level up with you to level 300 as well as the Dragon Lord. She has fewer perks than the Dragon Lord and less health and stamina, However, she uses 4 shouts instead of 2. 
The shouts she uses are Dragon Frost Breath level 4, Dragon Ice Storm level 4, Whirlwind Sprint and Elemental Fury. These two followers are very powerful and suitable companions for the Dragonborn. My favourite thing about them is the Dragon Breath shouts they use which look and sound really badass. Up next at number 7 is Fenrir the Firewolf by Bear. To give you a little bit of backstory, Fenrir is a monstrous wolf in Norse mythology and is the son of the god Loki. Fenrir actually features at the end of the film Thor Ragnarok. In this mod, Fenrir the Firewolf is a summonable, invulnerable firewolf who will follow you and attack enemies. He will fast travel to most places with you, except for places where followers aren't allowed, however you can resummon him within these places. He is also not keen on swimming. You can use any other spell except spells that conjure other creatures whilst Fenrir is active, and because Fenrir is a summonable creature, he does not take up a follower slot, so he can be used along with any NPC followers you have. His summons last for an hour, but you can unsummon him by using another conjuration spell. The spellbook for Fenrir can be found in Mist of All Keep in Riften, it's on the bench in the Court Wizard's room. There is also a Conjure Familiar spell turn beside it if you don't already have another Conjuring spell to unsummon Fenrir with. Both spellbooks are free. Fenrir looks awesome as he is basically a familiar, however instead of a purple ghostly look he is made from pure flames which gives him an awesome aesthetic. If you like the idea of travelling Skyrim with an invulnerable flaming familiar, give this mod a download. At number 6 we have one of the most popular follower mods for Skyrim on PS4, Dreadborn Knight by Vengeance Mods. The Dreadborn Knight is a giant beast of a follower, using an awesome combination of Nordic, Dawnguard and Dragon equipment. He's fully voiced, scale to player level, has custom stats for his weapons and armour, and custom movement mapping. You can find him in the B and Barb in Riften, and the mod even comes with a chest in the B and Barb cellar filled with the Dreadborn armor sets and weapons. You've probably noticed from the gameplay that the Dreadborn Knight is very tall, taller than most NPCs in Skyrim, and he has a very aggressive fighting style. He's pretty handy with his sword and shield up close, and will use a bow and arrow for the enemies he can't reach. If you're looking for a powerful, badass looking follower that won't get in your way all the time, give this mod a download. At the halfway point of this top 10 list is Death Knight Followers, another mod by Imperial Agent. This is easily my favourite follower mod from Imperial Agent, as the Death Knights are really awesome looking vampires that seem to be so powerful with dark magic that a black mist emanates from their bodies and their intense glowing red eyes stand out from all the black armour and black mist which gives them a really evil and powerful aesthetic. The two followers, Alexa and Apollyon, can be found just outside Falkreath. Alexa is more powerful than Apollyon, however Apollyon is more of a tank, making him perfect for distracting tougher foes. Alexa uses the Salt Air and Ice Form shouts, whereas Apollyon uses the Drain Vitality and Draga Unrelenting Force shouts. Both followers have the following perks. Bladesman Rank 2, Extra Damage 2.5, Champion Stance, Fighting Stance, Custom Fit, Hack and Slash Rank 2, Deadly Bash, Limb Spitter Rank 2, Deep Wounds Rank 2, Tower of Strength and Devastating Blow. If you're playing as an undead, a necromancer or just an evil character, these followers are perfect. One of my favourite things about them is that they can conjure Bone Men and Wrath Men followers who are easily the coolest and most badass looking conjurable creatures in the game by far. Seriously, if you want some badass evil followers, download this mod. At number 4 we have MFS Followers by UniSL, the same guy that made the Multiple Follower Systems mod. This mod adds a whole army of new followers and pets to Skyrim. I highly recommend using the Multiple Follower System mod if you are going to use MFS Followers. This mod allows you to pretty much assemble any kind of team of followers you want. 
For example, if you're roleplaying as a character that is massively interested in Dwarven technology, you could recruit the Dwarven Centurion, Spider and Ballista from default Crossing and have your very own squad of Dwemer Automatrons. I'm not going to read out every single follower added by this mod because we would be here all day, but some of the ones that stood out to me are Barbara, a one-handed warrior and good user of destruction staffs, she can sometimes become a werewolf in combat when her health gets very low. Everly, a sneaky archer and bard who I'm certain is inspired by Everly's sharp arrow from the Elder Scrolls Online. Nevos Ralas, a warrior who can transform into a werebear in combat when he takes damage. Aaron, a restoration mage and unarmed fighter. Annie, an ice witch and necromancer. Guard followers. Volknar, a wolf with a human voice that can transform into a werewolf in combat. Betty, a small netch, and a tame bristleback. All of these options give you so much freedom in terms of roleplay, you can pick the perfect follower or followers that suit your playstyle, or you can just put together a ragtag team of interesting followers, which is what I did. This is a brilliant mod that adds a fantastic range of followers, definitely give it a try. Taking the bronze medal is a not so popular mod that I feel deserves some more love, which is Spectral Dragon Follower by Celestial Skies. This mod adds a follower that is pretty much an ice wraith that's front half is made from fire and bottom half is ice, which creates a really awesome looking spectral dragon. You could say it's a song of ice and fire. When I first saw the screenshots on the mod's description page, I thought there is no way that's actually what it looks like in game with the PlayStation restrictions, but I'm very glad I was wrong. I don't know how this follower was created without using external assets, but I'm so very glad it exists. You can find her in Rorikstead hanging out with some cows. She is essential and uses both frost and fire damage and she will level alongside you from level 15 up to 92. The dragon looks so awesome, and whilst it can be difficult to get it to actually engage in combat sometimes, it is such an awesome looking and unique creature which totally makes up for that. The idea of a half fire and half ice wraith is brilliant, and the fact that it's a dragon as well just makes it even better. I absolutely love this mod and it will most likely be permanently staying in my load order. Taking the silver medal is Pathstalkers by Scarecrow. This mod isn't just a follower mod, it adds a whole bunch of awesome and interesting content and it was designed primarily for PS4, which is very rare. This mod's description says, Pathstalkers is an extensive mod that adds a new companion animal system to the game, as well as a rangers guild. Within the lodge of this new guild, players will discover an altar that lets them craft animal totems and unlock permanent animal companion summons. The availability of these totems is tied to the character's skill in archery as befitting a group of rangers. This mod includes a new location, Hursula's Lodge, which is located south of Nightgate Inn. A way south of Hursula's Lodge is an exterior location, Delia's Shack where the player may purchase Magical Hunter's arrows. Three encounters with the Wild Hunt of Hercene. The Wild Huntsman and his party are mighty opponents, so challenge them with care. 36 new summon powers that can be learned by crafting the appropriate totems from the altar of the pack in Hercela's Lodge. The totems are considered spellbooks by Skyrim. These powers require no magicka, and the crafting of the totems is largely dependent on the player's archery skill. Each totem recipe requires a rare heartwood, one of which is found at the altar. Others have to be earned by defeating the Wild Hunt of Hercene. You also get 35 new temporary summon scrolls that can be crafted from the altar of the pack in Hercela's Lodge. These lures don't require a heartwood, so players can experiment with different animal companions before deciding on which totem to craft. You also get six wilderness encounters with roaming pathstalkers and 11 new followers, most of which are marriage candidates that carry lore items detailing their backstory and personalities. Eight of them reside at Hursela's Lodge, one is near Lagerspur, another is near Northwatch Keep, and the last is located at Windhelm Docks. The followers are all really interesting and unique with detailed backstories. My personal favourite is Sinanga, who is a neat farmer follower. All of them utilise the summon powers and have animal companions that suit their personality and backstory. Most of them are purely archery only and their animal companions will charge the enemies. 
however a few of them will use melee weapons as well as archery. This is an awesome mod and a comprehensive mod that adds some really cool followers and animal companions as well as a brand new guild with its own lore and backstory. If you're playing as an archer or hunter build, this mod is definitely for you. Give it a download. Taking the gold medal, the best follower mod for Skyrim on PS4 is Vampire Knights, another mod by Scarecrow. I've always felt that there aren't enough badass and powerful vampire followers in Skyrim. Don't get me wrong, Serana is great, but what if you want to create a whole team of seriously powerful vampire followers? Well, now you can with Vampire Knights. However, Vampire Knights doesn't just add vampire followers, it also adds an awesome new Vigilant follower, a really cool looking Draga follower, and so much more content similar to the Pathstalkers mod. Vampire Knights is a mini expansion that overhauls the vampire experience in Skyrim with additional equipment, spells, characters and lore, and just like Pathstalkers, this mod has been made primarily for the PS4. This mod includes dozens of new vampire themed weapons and armour, all of which can be upgraded and most of which can be crafted by the player or looted from encounters in the game. Around 6 new spells, two of which are specifically intended for vampire characters, new enemies, changes to the weapons and tactics of some vampires to give encounters against the undead more variety, and a few nasty surprises in the soul can. Eight new boss type encounters, all of which end with the player gaining the ability to craft slash obtain new items or learn new abilities, one new micro dungeon location in Solstheim, Numerous vignettes and lore items scattered throughout the game that conveys the story of the Order of the Blackthorn and the Chiprotrian Assembly, along with new lore based loading screens. You also get two summonable mounts and five new NPC followers. One is Ebadon, a former knight of Blackthorn, Wilhelmina, a vampiric scholar of the Outer Plains, Vigilant Stark, a veteran hunter of vampires and the Daedra. Malgoth the Betrayer, an ancient vampire from the Second Era, and a badass Draga follower called Runai Hunts the Hunters. These followers bring new equipment and spells to the game and are all very powerful, unique and awesome. If you are playing as a vampire in Skyrim or just want more vampire themed content, definitely give this mod a download. That will take us to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more of my videos I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you to Fluky Robin for being the first channel member, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. If you want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one, may Talos guide you.